Hey YouTube, Johnny Jets 2000 here, coming at you with a review of the Gemini Jets 1400 scale UPS 757-200. Uh, got this model for Christmas. Uh, sorry I've been behind videos, I've been really busy and stuff. Um, I'll have a PDX update out in a few days as soon as my new models come. And I want to do a subscriber route airport really soon also. Uh, I want to get it out before that update, but if not, it'll be just right around that time and stuff. Um, so yeah, I got this model, uh, I need another cargo plane, and yeah, I'll start with the box. Um, it's a little different, it's the FedEx box, instead of the white background here, or a dark blue, um, it's a light blue, uh, it looks pretty cool and stuff, and all the sides and stuff, the sides are brown, uh, for like FedEx, and these sides are white, and the top, yeah, is brown, which is pretty cool, so it's a little different and stuff, the back's pretty much the same. Uh, this is a 2017 release, uh, typical Gemma just stuff, UPS official licensed product, uh, Boeing officially licensed product, made in China, all the regular stuff. Going in here is the same, you have a picture of the aircraft right there, and you have the information about the 757-200, uh, press pause to read it. Right there is the specifications, and, uh, yeah, I'll open it up. Um, I've got this model, um... UPS has a lot of 757 routes. Uh, they have a good number of routes from Portland to 757. And then also during Christmas time, there's a ton of routes on 757 to just a ton of really awesome airports. Probably like 10 different, 10 different routes. And then open this. And comment below which model review, model review you want to see next. It'll be either one of those ones. Um, this one, this is the most plastic I've seen. You have a top piece of plastic, a really big one, and then, uh, the model, and then a piece under it, so, uh, that's good and stuff. Uh, sorry for all that noise from, it was hard to get it out of the package and stuff. Uh, I did the 1,000 subscriber Q&A, so, uh, you can go watch that. If you want a subscriber route, uh, comment below, and, and I'll just start out with my... Uh, with the nose of the aircraft, you have the pitot tubes and the uh, nose cone. You have the cockpit windows. You have the uh, the boarding door. Uh, it's the only door on this aircraft. Uh, yeah, the only door. There's none on the other side. Uh, then right there it says worldwide service. And you can see the main cargo door uh, where the passenger area would normally be. Then down there you can see the main gear door and it says 409 on the gear door. And you can see the gear. This does not have rolling gear. Uh, this is one of the molds left that doesn't have gear with Gemini Jets. It's it's a really nice mold though, and the gear actually do look really nice, but they don't roll sadly. There's no antennas. I think their newest 757, they updated the mold and there's antennas now, but no rolling gear. You have uh, the registration right there, November 409 Uniform Papa. You have the UPS tail right there with the logo. Uh, APU back there. And just uh, kind of the white fuselage with the brown and uh, yellow stripe. Uh, the engine right there. You can see it. Looks nice. Uh, I see some details on there. Go to the top view of the model. There we go. You can see the top. Um, not a ton of details. Uh, it's pretty, pretty plain stuff. But the wings, uh, good details on there. You can see a. You can see some markings. You can see the. Um, the flaps, slats, and spoilers on there, and the in the slats uh, they are actually painted on there. You can see the the silver on this side too, and just going down here. Uh, it's a really nice model. I highly recommend it. They they have these pretty much going everywhere, uh, pretty much to Louisville in the U.S. I think they have some of these in Europe too. Um, going down, you can see the main gear doors right there and the front gear. You can see the cargo door on that side. Uh, General just logo stand hole in the up main uh, main gear doors, and then there is the uh, bottom of the wings and stuff. Very detailed, looks very nice. Uh, another cargo door right there, and uh, back to plane looks very nice. Um, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully General just will get rolling gear for their 757 sometime. Um, but yeah, other than that, this is a really nice model. Highly recommend it. You know, it can go to pretty much any airport, as I said. Uh, yeah, they send these to a lot of routes. I saw one going to, like, just today, I saw them going to, like, uh, uh, Fresno, Ontario, uh, Mev, uh, not Memphis, uh, Louisville, and Chicago Rockford from Portland just today, so, uh, a lot of these are PDX and stuff. So here's the left side, the front, the right side, and the back. And so that's gonna do it with this review. 
Hope you liked the video. Uh, stay tuned for new videos, trip report, and um, just other stuff. And hopefully I'll be uh, doing more um, construction on the terminals, uh, just painting them and, and getting windows on. And so, yeah, hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at generators underscore 2000. And thank you for watching.